In this video, we will be covering the most commonly asked control panel questions for anyone with a Yale Wireless Alarm Kit from our HSA 6000 series. This includes the Yale HSA 6200 Standard Alarm, the HSA 6300 Family Alarm and the HSA 6400 Premium Alarm. The control panel questions we will cover are 1. Why does my control panel beep every 30 seconds with the amber warning light lit? 2. Once I've triggered the alarm, the control panel says alarm, alarm, alarm. But once I've disarmed it, it continues to show this message. How can I get rid of this? 3. I have programmed a key fob into my alarm. During testing, why can't I disarm the alarm? 1. Why does my control panel beep every 30 seconds with the amber warning light lit? Firstly, check the fault log on the control panel, as this should tell you where the problem is. To do this, press the PR key, followed by your PIN code, then the tick key. The amber light will always be lit when fault conditions are present, and the details should automatically come up in the fault log. Press the tick key to confirm what the fault is. After going into the fault log, press the return key and you will see clear fault display OK. Press the tick button to confirm and this will remove any old fault messages from the screen which are no longer relevant. If it is a panel tamper fault, try reseating the control panel on the wall mounting back plate which we've shown here. Also check the mounting plate for damage to the two fixing lugs. If AC power fail is displayed, ensure that the power cable is plugged in and that power is being supplied to the control panel. If there is a tamper fault, check all devices are firmly screw mounted and the tamper spring is fully compressed inside the PIR and firmly compressed at the back of the door contact. The display screen will tell you which type of detector has the tamper fault and the particular zone number. If it is a PIR battery fault, all you need to do is replace the batteries or ensure that they're installed properly. The red light on the face of the PIR will flash on and off for 30 seconds after insertion of new batteries or reseating of the existing ones. If there is more than one fault in the list, Scroll down and press the tick key to confirm you have read them. When all faults have been rectified, the amber light will go off. If the amber light is still on, please repeat the previous procedures, as there is still a fault present. 2. Once I've triggered the alarm, the control panel says alarm, alarm, alarm. But once I've disarmed it, it continues to show this message. How can I get rid of this? Once you've disarmed your alarm by entering your PIN, you need to press the tick key within a couple of seconds to confirm you've read the error message and again to get you back to the alarm off home screen. If you don't press the tick key, it will continue showing alarm, alarm, alarm. 3. I have programmed a key fob into my alarm. During testing, why can't I disarm the alarm? You need to fit and program in an entry point detector at your main point of entry and exit to allow the key fob to disarm the system. Please ensure that you have at least one detector programmed as entry, then retest by activating the entry sensor before trying to disarm the alarm with the key fob. The reason the alarm can only be disarmed during this entry period is to prevent unauthorised use of your key fob. If you have a question which isn't covered in this video, please call 01902 364 606 or email info at yale.co.uk. To see our full range of wireless alarm kits and to see other Yale how-to videos, visit www.yale.co.uk and click on the Yale Security TV icon.